go, Mike, go. Fight, Mike, fight. Mike, the pokey trainer. All right, here we go. Another set of some veils. It's been a while since I actually recorded a video here. So we got Shadow Agron leading the way. Thought it was interesting. Got some good stats on him. As you'll see, he's rank 75 here. Not good against Nidoqueen, but Crobat does catch the Earth power. Uh, switching in Crobat can be really good, or it can be really bad, as we see Walrein right here totally destroying our Crobat. And that is going to happen sometimes. So this team was uh, pretty good, and you'll see in the set here how it does. Uh, overall, I uh, did decently, but there are definitely some holes and some things left to be desired, but Agron kind of fits that Bastiodon uh, niche here too, and that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see how this first battle goes here. Not looking good. We do have two shields, and saving two shields for Shadow Machamp can sometimes just win you the match, but not looking good here for us because they also have two. And yeah, this is not going to go over well for this first battle. Uh, but that is okay. Oh, that would have been so good if we would have been able to survive it. Alright, second one, they start with Scrafty, so yeah, we gotta switch. And here the safe swap of Crobat seems to have paid off, because Machamp would have gotten eaten alive by Jellicent. We're gonna go for the Shadow Ball, hopefully to get a shield or do a ton of damage. Uh, we really don't want to shield bait here. This poison thing is because we're about to go down anyway, uh, but they do shield so interesting So our opponent is shields down right now, and we still got both of ours So we're gonna send an aggron to smack down throw some rocks at this thing. I have seen the uh, dragon tail aggron against me, but just that smackdown power is so good and We're just gonna kind of take the damage here. Yeah, but we'll be super effective, but Agron's just going to keep on pounding away with that, and we're no, we know they're sending the fighter back in, so we're going to thunder it and switch in the Shadow Machamp to finish this thing off, and no shields. Machamp loves to hit the rock slide, and it's going to go boom to that Talon Flame. All right, and that is a win for us. So we're one and one in the set, and pretty decent matchup to start here. Oh, but they switch right away. All right, so they switch into something that has dark typing. So we switch to Machamp. We really want to win this lead because we don't want to have, we don't want to have Agron probably against whatever's left in the back there. And we definitely don't want to have uh, Crobat facing off wall ring. So we're gonna shield here when we need to. They hit us with a crunch there, that's all right. Um, looks like they're trying to win this lead too. Maybe Machamp is super good against the rest of their team. And we did it, and that's it. They had enough. Sometimes that happens with these teams too. They just end up playing. So this is a really excellent start for us. That Smackdown does excellent damage against the Charizard. Here is Stunfisk, and we know that in Ultra League, Machamp can tank an Earthquake if he needs to. So you can tank an Earthquake, not in Great League, but in Ultra League, you really can. So we did, and we're going to send back in Charizard, I believe. Yep. So we're just going to go for damage because we're just about dead here. And then Aggron's going to come in and smack down. And we got to watch out for the Blast Burn. Blast Burn would be pretty damaging here. But they don't do that. They go to Cresselia. So interesting here, we're going to switch to get its defense down. And if this Cresselia runs Future Sight, it is going to kill our Crobat and put us in some danger here. But Cresselia usually doesn't run Future Sight. We are going to block them. And of course this is Future Sight Cresselia. Usually it's uh, Grass Knot and Moonblast, but this is Future Sight. So it's going to one-shot our boom. Alright, but here comes Agron, and Agron is going to do the Smackdown, and our opponent never blocked. Sometimes if you don't block, you're going to lose. All right, uh, good start for us here again, Giratina. And see it's using Dragon Breath for not very effective damage here. Uh, we do think that our Aggron is going to need to be here to defeat it. We'll take the Shadow Sneak and yeah, that did decent damage against us, but we got Stone Edge. Boom, they didn't block, wow. All right, so we'll just smack down it down and they switch to their fighter. So we safe stuff to Crobat and 
Uh, good thing about Crobat that, po that Poison Typing is offering a defense against Charm. So that is really good to see here. And they absolutely had to switch because it's good against their fighters too. So we're lowering the defense. They're blocking. We're going to block one. And we should be able to finish this off with one more Poison thing. And then put some damage on the fighter. So let's see if we can do that. And we got Machamp to bag us up anyway, so let's go ahead and... Oh, we even get to lower the defense. This is probably going to be another quick here, so let's see. And Machamp is able to finish it off. Alright, so 4-1 in that set. Uh, saw some good stuff there, so hope you enjoyed that. Overall, this team was a little above 500, so good, not great. Go, Mike, go! Fight, Mike, fight! Mike, the pokey!